But I, I saw a thread <laughs> on Twitter and it said, it boggles my mind what buyer's agents are paid in blank area he lives. This is the, the he's a home seller. It said, it boggles my mind what buyer's agents are paid in this area. Can someone explain to me why sellers would offer a buyer's agent commission at all in a hot market where buyers just browse Zillow? What are they gonna do? Not let their clients see a house they love? Okay, so there's a lot charged in this and I'll go ahead and say where he, uh, he's from California. It doesn't, sure. ma doesn't matter which city, yeah, but he's from matter. a very, very expensive housing market in, on the coast in California. Uh, and so his point is like, these, these houses are worth so much. Why are we paying a buyer's agent? As a seller, why do I need to incentivize a buyer's agent? I'll just pay my agent on the sell side and buyers will kick the door in. Well, there's a couple of things to think about here. Um, number one, most buyers are smart enough to know that one agent represents one side and one side only. It's like going to court and you're going there for something very big or very serious. It doesn't, you know, criminal, civil, doesn't matter. But let's just say there's a million dollars at stake. And the other side of the disagreement has two, three, four, five world-class attorneys. And you roll into the courtroom and say to the other person who's in opposition to you, hey, is it okay if your attorneys also help me? Well, that person is going to say to you, sure, that's great. And those attorneys are going to say, sure, I'm already loyal to this guy. I'll give you some basic information on how we will destroy you in this court case, right? Well, in real estate, it's the same scenario. It's different in that it's not legal. It's not life or death, you know, whatever. But in order to say to someone, hey, I don't want there to be multiple agents is sort of saying, I, I, I want one side to get taken advantage of. Now, let, let, let's get really specific here. Yeah. This person is a seller. Home seller, right? yeah. And so it, if you were purely motivated by money, it makes sense that a seller would say, I don't want there to, I don't want the buyer to have an agent. The problem is the good buyers do want to have an agent. They want to be protected. And if you're listening right now and you're a smart buyer, you should want to have an agent. They will, a good agent will not cost you money. They will save you money and liability and drama and lost sleep and time and energy and a bunch of other things. Now, Keyword good. That's the point. Because a lot of people in the comments under this thread are right. saying, my my agent made me pay a lot more money and conceded yeah. a bunch of things and blah, 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 yeah. blah. And the reality is there are more bad agents than there are good agents. And so I actually am not upset that people think this way. They think this way, sadly, based on some poor past experiences. But we do, here at the Tatramani Home Selling Team, we do this every day, all day, helping buyers and sellers, hundreds of transactions a year. Um, and so every single day we're seeing it. A buyer without an agent is extraordinarily likely to get taken advantage of. As well market. as a buyer with a bad agent. As well as a buyer with a bad agent. Now, here's the crazy thing. A seller without an agent is almost guaranteed to get taken advantage of. Leave to, money on the table. To leave money on the table yeah. and to have more liability and have a lower likelihood of closing and funding. A seller with a bad agent could be just as bad, if not worse. Yeah, people now, just assume because because of the industry and right. because of how many there are out, outweighing the, the bad agents, outweighing the good, right. that, that agents are a detriment. Yes, now let me throw out a couple of quick hypotheticals. It sounds like it would make sense for this seller to say, I'll pay an agent to help me sell, but I'm not gonna incentivize a buyer to have an agent of their own because the market's so hot, I don't need to do that, right? Does that make sense from his perspective? So, so here's what I wanna say, here's what I wanna say. My experience in over 20 years in real estate of one kind or another, I think nine, 18, 19 years with a real estate license, 17 years with a broker license, whatever you want to count. An, a buyer without an agent is infinitely more likely to make you an infinitely lower offer on your property. They are thinking the same thing. If I don't have an agent, I want to save that money. As a seller, you're thinking if they don't have an, if I don't have to pay their agent, I'll save that money. Mm. Well, now there's 
the same battle there always was over value. Now it just happens to include the assumption of found money with a commission. The problem is it's a messier transaction. It's a lot less likely to actually close and fund. It's, I think, 300% more likely to involve people getting sued. It's a messier, more dangerous, and honestly, in the long haul, statistically, it is not financially more advantageous for either side. Now, that sounds like a really biased argument, but producer Mason, does any of that make what you would consider logical sense outside of my bias? I mean, of course, yeah. I'll tell you this right now, for sale by owners are a perfect example of this. For sale by owners typically are doing that to save on commissions. And again, usually because they've had a bad experience and I don't blame them, but I always coach them that it's not wise because if you don't have an agent and you're trying to save money, a buyer is going to come to you knowing you don't have an agent and they're going to try to save that same money. Now, both of you are fighting over money and neither of you has professional guidance. So it's even more likely to fail to get to closing and funding even more likely to involve someone suing the other person. And honestly, it's five or 10 times more likely just to involve innocent mistakes, but still significant mistakes. So obviously I'm a real estate broker. It, ser it, it, it serves me well for you to use an agent. But even if you're in another market or you already have an agent, use a really great agent. It will make you money. It will save you time. It will save you stress. It will save you drama. And this idea that you're smarter than everybody else for 999 out of a thousand people, when it comes to residential real estate, you're not smarter. You're not better. You're not more informed than again, let's be careful, a full time, fully dedicated world-class agent with a staff and a team around them. Those are fewer and farther between, but if you can get your hands on one, and I would suggest the Todd Tremonti home selling team, if you can get connected with someone, you will make money as a seller. You will save money as a buyer. You will save time, save drama, avoid complexity, avoid getting sued and sleep better at night over under agent.com. If you want more information on that over under agent.com. Okay. You said two, two qualifiers that were they're full time, right? Yep. They're, they have a team around them. Yep. Okay. What makes, what, besides those two things, what makes a world-class agent? Someone's trying to figure out, all right, yep. how do I know if this is a good agent? So a track record of success, in my opinion. Now that doesn't mean that a new agent can't be good, but I think a new agent needs to be in an environment with some experienced agents and some world-class training, right? So you think about this. I mean, think about the trades to be a master plumber or a master electrician. You have to have spent some time around other masters when you were still learning. Real estate is set up that way where you can be a real estate salesperson or a broker, different licenses. The broker is the more senior, typically more experienced, higher level of scrutiny, more liability. And then a broker supervises those sales agents. Now, not everybody should be a broker, but the reason for that is because that agent needs to gain experience and expertise. So even if you're working with a newer agent, they need to be on a team or in a brokerage with mentors and senior leadership over them. I think our team model at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team is the ideal model. That's why we built it this way. That's why agents and brokers all over North America are coming to us to be trained and coached on this stuff. The reason that's a big deal is because even the most seasoned agent, if they're that good, is gonna have multiple clients and there are gonna be moments when they're not available. And there are gonna be moments when they need a second set of eyes or ears or feet on the ground to open a door, to put together an amendment, to help them understand value, to help them think through a unique solution to a challenging problem. An individual agent, even if they are like a you know phenomenal IQ, still needs more perspective, more hours in the day, more effort, more energy, more tools, more resources, uh, and the, the budget to be able to invest in some of those things. So that's where I recommend that. The other thing I recommend is I believe in agent specialization, right? An attorney might be only civil or only criminal or only um, litigator or a researcher. In real estate, historically, one agent says, I do it all. Sales, purchasing, leasing, commercial, residential, um, vacation properties, investment properties, homes, condos, townhomes. 
I, I'm not a believer in that. I think you can only be truly an expert at a handful of things. So our agents only work with buyers. Maybe even a handful of areas too. Or only work with sellers. They only work the Dallas side or they only work the Fort Worth side. So we're big believers in specialization in addition to full-time, fully dedicated, fully educated, fully committed to training and ongoing work and specializing in one of those areas. And again, if you're interested in that, go to overunderagent.com, call any phone number, fill out any form, click any button, contact us however is most comfortable for you, and we will be glad to get you connected with one of those world-class, full-time, dedicated experts. Overunderagent.com or call or text 214-310-0008.